Back out here at the jetty, I'm gonna try our hand at some Spanish mackerel, see if they're still biting. Kayaks all loaded up. Now, let's get to the little beach. We've got a fairly calm day. Winds are supposed to be less than five miles an hour. The seas are at one foot and I'm hoping that the green water is still going to be here. If it is, we should have a fairly decent shot at hopefully getting the smacks. And then we'll also try the south jetty for some uh, speckle trout towards the end of it. If that doesn't work over there, then we'll hop on over to the north jetty. I don't know, we may do some trolling around. It just depends on how the day goes. Got us a nice little sandy sand trout, brown trout. That's a really good size one too. This guy is going to have trouble trying to outrun the dolphins. Got one right off in the distance. I don't think he knows that I've got this fella. Pretty good though, nice size sandy. I just had to retie because my first cast back into the water, I nailed a uh, a nice size mackerel, I'm sure. But the dude like thrashed my leader, so uh, that was quick mincemeat made out of my 30 pound mono. <laughs> Gosh darn. There's some big ones out here. I just couldn't tell if I even had something hooked or not. They want it slow. That's what they want. And they don't even want it retrieved. They just want it like dangling at a long leader because I don't want them to even key in on my swivel. It's gonna let that thing drop. That's how I got the last bite. There we go, we got him again. Oh my gosh. He's like snagged though. Bruh, should have just bit it. It'd have hurt a lot less. All right, let's get this out of him. This is a little guy though. I'm pretty sure the other one who just like completely thrashed, that's beautiful. I mean, he's just so awesome. Vicious little eater. Yeah, the other one had to be uh, a nice mom. My gosh, I mean, look at that. Look what he already did. He just completely smashed my leader. Holy cow. This is 30 pound test. And that leader is, is just done. So now I've got to retie. I don't want to have to retie after each one of these guys because they got such a horrible aim. <laughs> Dude, seriously. The closer we get to that swivel, the worse it's gonna be for me because then they'll key in on that, go after it, and the next thing you know, my braid is done. And there goes my spoon, just like the last one. That one's got a little bit more weight. This one may be, oh, that, it's gotta be a mackerel. What is this? Oh, it's a nice trout. First keeper of the day, speckled trout. It's been quiet all morning long until now. This guy has been the only thing to speak of. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to hang my head down in shame as I pedaled back through the channel. No, sir, we got us a keeper right here. Probably about 15, 16 inches. First keeper of the day comes on a small tiny spoon. I was using the three quarter ounce Johnson Sprite. It was like a gold one. And it just, it wasn't getting the job done. So I downsized. And normally whenever you downsize, you always manage to pull something out. Let's see if he was gonna be a keeper anyways. Oh my gosh, 14 and a half, uh, almost.
There we are. That's another one, but it's a small guy though. It does not feel big until now. The bite may have just turned on. That's like back-to-back -back cast, and this guy is taking some drag. Uh, get this net. Oh my gosh, that is a pompano. <laughs> Dude. I can't believe that guy just went airborne. We got to get him up. That's what we got to do first and foremost. Holy cow, look at this. That's the third pompano I've caught since I've been out here. Uh, to the jetties, like the, the past two trips. This is the, the third one. First one of today. But uh, man, this guy, I'm surprised he went airborne. Let's get this guy unhooked. We'll send him on his way. I don't have an ice chest. Uh, I let Nick use it. And I don't have another one that I can use at home. So this guy is gonna get to go away. Back and fight again another day if I can get it. Yep, there it is. Small little 1 8 ounce silver spoon. Getting it done. Oh, so glad I changed it up. This little guy, he put up a really good fight. Nice pompano, no size limit here. And there's no bag limit that I saw whenever I went to Texas Parks and Wildlife. Yeah, we're good. I got some 80 pound test going on right here. I really need to go buy some more mono, but something like maybe 40. I've had mackerel already bust through my 30 pound mono. And uh, that's just a bummer whenever you lose lures like that because the mono isn't as thick as you thought. And then I have them chasing after my darn swivel, cutting that or biting at that, and then it just cuts my hardware off. Let's get back to this jetty. Two for two. All right, can we start something? There we go. That's pretty close to the rocks. Let that thing go down. Can we get it three for three? Come on. There's a twitch. I felt a, I already felt a hit already. Oh, there's another hit. We got him. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, the bite has to have turned on. He's got a little bit of weight. He's fighting. Oh, is that? Oh, that is an... Oh, man. That was a beautiful speck. Darn it. What is this one? This one's got a little bit of weight. Oh, it's a pompano. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This guy goes broadside and then he's got a lot of fight once he does that. <laughs> Every time I get him to the top, he's like, oh crap. Just like that. All right, there we go. There we go. No. <laughs> We've got the drag cinched down too. Holy smokes, bruh. This is a nice size pompano too. Goodness gracious, look at that. On the shrimp, the clickbait, baby. Oh, Heath, is there a lure that you have that does not work? I guess one for every situation. Uh, silver spoon is usually money out here, but today it is not. And I know for sure that they're keying in on the shrimp because that's what I've seen them coming up to get. And then look at that. Clickbait shrimp. <sighs> nice size pompano. I think I'm going to call it quits kind of early today. Go back home, regroup, get ready for Matagorda tomorrow. Pickens are slim today for me. They are not wanting the artificials. I've got a pelican right over here that is caught up in some fishing line. And... Uh, yeah, that guy's surely going to die because he's stuck to the rock. I've watched him a couple times try to get out from the uh, that line, and when he flies off, he's uh, constantly falling right back down. Uh, what I'm worried about are the swells coming through. 
these rocks. I don't want to lose any of my gear. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, he's, he's hung up on it. I can see the line going straight over here to this other rock. I can't get too close to them rocks because then I'll capsize. The swell will go down, the rocks will be exposed, and then boom, I'm on top of the rocks, the kayak flips over. Bro, I'm gonna give it my best shot, trying to get you loose. Okay, now we got it. Sorry, buddy. I'm trying, bro, I'm trying. All right, here we go. Here come some big swells. Hold on, buddy. <laughs> my, my heart's beating. This guy's gonna die if we don't get this line snapped. All right, here we go. Let's see. Here we go. There we go, we got it. Reverse. You're good, bro. Here we go, Bootsy. All right, baby, here we go. Ready? You gotta do it now. It's now or never, bro. It's just fishing line. And I already clipped you off of the anchor. Bootsy, you've got to do this, man. You need to take off, bro. You can't stay on that rock forever. This is where we part ways. Uh, you've denied me the satisfaction knowing that I like 100% freed you. I see that you got fish in line on your legs. It's not a handicap, Bootsy. You gotta live a new lifestyle. I'm sorry I couldn't take it all off, but I can't wait here no longer. Two hours, long enough. That's it, everybody. Uh, I was kinda hoping my Pelican buddy right there would actually take flight. He's denying me the satisfaction knowing that I freed him. Uh, he still has fishing line on his legs, but I can't get him untangled without like crashing into those rocks. I think he's traumatized and thinks he's still like anchored down to the that fishing line that was inside the rocks. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the day of fishing. It wasn't so bad. Could have been a little bit better, but hey, that's just the way it goes. I did catch some nice size uh, pompanos and a bunch of small little brown trout, sand trout, whatever you want to call them. I like to call them sandies. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, click that thumbs up. That's all I have for y'all. Thank you for watching and until next time, tight lines everyone. Special thanks to Eric, Paul, Joe, John, Lewis, Frank, John, James, Ronnie, Mason, and Mina. Thank y'all for becoming patrons to the channel.